Okay, so now we're at D. And again, we don't know if we've reached the equivalence point yet. So we're going to find moles of acid and moles of base and figure out where we are. All right, so we always know the moles of the acid. That's going to be the same as, uh, as what it's been. Because we didn't add any acid. So that's the moles of our weak acid. And we'll find the moles of our weak base. I'm sorry, moles of our strong base. And that is, we're adding, we started with a 0.5 molar solution, and we added 20 moles of that, so that's 0.02 milliliters. That gives us 0.010 moles. Okay, so it looks like we are at the equivalence point, because the moles of the acid equal the moles of the base. So let's take a look at what's happening here. Again, the same reaction, we have CH3COOH, we're reacting some sodium hydroxide, we're going to make some weak base and some water. Great, that's all done. So we have a 0.01 moles here and a 0.01 moles here. We don't have any of this. We're going to use up all of these. We're going to use up all of this. So we use up all of our weak acid. We use up all of our strong base. All we have left here is weak base. So now we want to figure out what is the pH of a weak base. We have those moles. So we need to make a weak base ice table. Weak base ice table. All right. Uh, now what goes in the ice table? Moles or the molar concentration? The molar concentration. So the first thing we have to do is find that molar concentration. All right, so how do I do that? Well, if I have 0.010 moles, I want to divide by the liters. How many liters do I have? So I had 20 mils of the base and I had 20 mils of the acid. So 20 plus 20 gives me 40 mils. So my total volume in liters is going to be 0 0.040 liters. So this was from the acid, this is from the base, 40 mils total, 0 0.040 liters. All right, so I'm gonna divide that by 0 0.040. Liters. This is the concentration of the weak base. This is the sodium acetate. We'll just call that the acetate ion. Right, that's that conjugate base. This is our new concentration, which is 0.25 mol molar. And now I can set up an ice table for this guy. So this is a weak base, right? So I'm gonna. I'm also need to calculate my Kb. All right, so I have a base ion, a base association here. And I get my weak acid, and some hydroxide ions. All right, so that's a, a weak base. My Kb, I calculate my Kb. My Kb is going to be 1 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by the Ka, which was 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. All right, so that's my, so this is 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over the Ka. That was given in the problem. So we end up with 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. That's 10 negative 10. Zero zeros. Okay. That's 10 negative 10. All right. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Uh, that's going, I can set up my KB expression CH3COOH. And I have hydroxide here all over my weak base. All right. So I'm going to set up my ice table because that's the only way I can calculate the pH of uh, anything weak, of a weak acid or a weak base. I need an ice table. So I'm starting off here with 0.25 molar. My ice table looks the same as usual, minus x, 0.250 oh, minus x. I don't have any of this start off with, I'm going to add x, I'm going to add x here, so I end up with x and x, take this bottom row, plug it into my kb expression, I plug it in over there, and get you know, x squared over 0.25 minus x is equal to the kb. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Can we make that approximation? I think we can. Always make our approximation. 
If I negative 10, sure, it's going to be really small. So get rid of your x there, and then solve, get rid of the x on the bottom, and then solve for your x. You end up with what we get. Um, x squared is 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10 times 0.250. Right, we got rid of this x here, so we don't need that one. Take the square root of both sides. Now solve for x. And when we do that, we get x is 1.2 times 10 to negative 5. Times 10 to the negative 5. And that's equal to x right here, right? Our hydroxide concentration. So when we have a, a weak base problem, we have to solve it for a pOH first. pOH is going to be negative log of the 1.2 times 10 to negative 5. So the pOH ends up being. 4.93, and then to get the pH out of that, I'm just going to do 14 minus this, and we end up with 9.07. So notice that at the equivalence point now, our pH is basic, right, because we have a weak base. Um, when we did the strong acid, strong base titration, the, the pH was 7 at the equivalence point because the two neutralized each other, and everything we got on the product side with that neutralization reaction was a neutral salt and water. Uh, in this case, we end up with a weak